Let's build a slide deck that you can use at the beginning of every single class to communicate expectations, get students started on classwork early, and it's something that's gonna save you time over the course of the year. So um, we're just gonna make a template for it today. I'm gonna start with a blank slide deck. I'm just going to get these text boxes off of here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up Stickity. So extension, Stickity for slides, and then open. And that will populate on the right side here. I wanna change the background to be blue. You can change this to be whatever color you want. But if you wanna go look through my other TikToks, I have a great video on color strategy and how to use colors to block segments of class to help students stay on track. Go find that if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna change this background to blue and click done. I also don't need this um, little sidebar over here, so I'm gonna hide the film strip using that icon there. So now I have my slide and then stickity open right here. I am going to start by thinking, okay, what do I want students to be doing? What are my expectations for students as they're walking in? So I'll start with this expectations library right here. Thinking about noise, I want students' voices to be off. I want them to just be thinking about what they need to be doing and finding their seats. So I'm gonna choose silent as an option there. And then this is also an independent work time for them. So I'm gonna choose independent. I want them to find their seat and stay in their seat. So I'm going to add that sticker. And then the only activity that they'll need for this particular like beginning of class is laptop. There's plenty of options here um, if you wanna to add to that, but I just need those for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag those to place them and set them right here. I, I'm always gonna keep my icons on the same section of my presentation so that students always know where to look, right? Um, all right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is add a timer. I'm going to start, this is completely optional, but I really like this look. I'm gonna add a rounded rectangle and I'm just going to add that right here. I'm gonna make it black, so I'm gonna fill it with black and then also I'm going to change that outline to be gray. And I'm just going to set that right there. Then I'm gonna go into my stickity add-on and find a timer. So there's icons here. We may pepper one of those in um, later, but I'm gonna give students seven minutes to get in and get this first activity done before we get class started. That way I can take attendance and you know get all those things done first. So I clicked on seven minutes and it adds a timer right in there for me. I'm going to resize this, hold down shift so that it doesn't like resize it all funky and crazy like that. Maybe make it a little bit smaller and then center it within that black um, rectangle there. I just like the look of it. it. It adds a nice frame around the video rather than just the black strips at the top and the bottom. So completely aesthetic choices for me, but I think it looks really nice. Um, the next thing I want to do is add in a fun little welcome sticker. I'm going to find that in the fun and games and I'm going to click on welcome. This is going to put this in pretty big, but I can go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. So again, holding down shift so it doesn't get all crazy wonky out of sorts. And now I'm going to start thinking about what information do students need as soon as they walk in. So using one of these shapes here, I'm gonna use the rounded rectangle and go ahead and create, I'm gonna pull it kind of across so that um, it looks like it's kind of going off of the page there. And then I'm gonna start typing inside. Today is, let's pretend it is the 9th of August, 2023. That's probably in the past for whoever is watching this video, but that is fine. And we're gonna make this a little bit larger. My rule is 24, 0.4 readable text on screen for students. So at least 24, maybe even bigger. We actually have, we have room, so might as well make it even larger. Okay, welcome, today is, and then this is at my school, students had to write the date just like this, so I wanted to model that um, up on the board as well. Now we have this big empty space right here. I can start to add my instructions of what do students need to do, what do they need to know to be able to accomplish whatever task I need them to do. So again, me coming in with those rounded rectangles, I'm gonna make a big one right here. And then this yellow diamond is to adjust that rounded corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't want a border on there, and I'm going to make this still a shade of blue, but a little bit lighter. So I used this blue right here. I'm gonna go up a bit, and then I'm gonna drag this so that it's in line with the timer. And so that when students see it on the board, there's no like extra blue on the side. It just kind of makes this nice little section 
right here. Again, completely aesthetic, but I really like this look. So then from there, I'm going to go into my content support library with Stickity, and I'm going to scroll down and find instructions. So I want to, this, if you use this consistently, students will start to know, okay, I need to look for that yellow sticker that says instructions. If I'm a little lost, I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Perfect, right there. All right, and now I'm going to give them steps. So I want I have step one, two, and three. I want them to open Google Classroom. I want them to find an article that I've linked for them and then answer the questions that I have below. So I can add those steps in here. If I scroll up in the steps and levels category, I have steps one, two, three, four, all the way through 10. If you ever just want regular numbers, they're down here at the bottom in numbers and letters. So if you don't want it to say step, you can just do that, but I know that it's going to be step one, two, and three. So I'm going to click on step one, step two, and step three. And that's going to populate them all in the upper left-hand corner. And then I'm going to use my mouse to drag them all down. I would like my stickers to be a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to start kind of dragging them out this way. All right, step one, two, and three. All right, they can get a little bit bigger. All right, so this is starting to look really, really nice. And now all I need to do is add in my text boxes to actually explain what I want students to be doing. And that's it, you can copy this slide for each day so that you have one for every single day. You have your instructions, you have your icons. You don't have to rebuild it every single time. You can use this consistently throughout um, the year, which will help students know where to look, know what to do, and know exactly what your expectations are.